Too Many Carrots by Katie Hudson. Rabbit loved carrots. He collected them wherever he went. Rabbit was proud of his collection and burrowed it away in his cosy hole. But Rabbit had a problem. A big problem. He couldn't sleep. His cosy hole was too crowded to live in. I need a place to sleep, Rabbit told Tortoise. You could share my house, Tortoise offered. It looks cosy and snug, Rabbit said. Maybe it's a little too snug for two, suggested Tortoise. Not at all, said Rabbit. Uh oh, oh dear, ouch, ah, crash. Oh dear, well, perhaps we can stay in Bird's Nest, said Rabbit. <whistles> My nest is quite small, Rabbit, said Bird. I'm sure we'll all fit, replied Rabbit. Rabbit hauled all his carrots up the tree. Whoa, groaned Tortoise and the bird as the branch wobbled and swayed and snapped. Crash! I'm so sorry, bird. Now three of us don't have a place to sleep, said Rabbit. You can sleep in my house offered Squirrel. Oh, thank you, Squirrel. How kind of you, said Rabbit. I don't think any more carrots will fit, Rabbit, said Squirrel. Just a few more, Rabbit replied. "Uh Uh-oh, whimpered Tortoise, Bird and Squirrel. Creak, crack, crash! Now four of us don't have anywhere to sleep, grumbled Squirrel. You can sleep at my house, called Beaver. It has plenty of space. Great, I can bring even more carrots, Rabbit said with a smile. But with all your carrots, we can't fit inside, said Beaver, a bit bewildered. Just then, the rain started. Tortoise shivered, bird whimpered, squirrel squeaked, and Beaver heard a terrible rumble as his house collapsed. Oh no, my house, yelled Beaver. Oh no, my carrots, cried Rabbit. Ah, crash. The friends groaned as they swept up onto the riverbank. Rabbit felt terrible. His friends were cold, tired and homeless. And it was all his fault. Even worse, Rabbit still had all his carrots and his house. And that's when he realised there was only one thing to do. Share everything with his friends. After all, carrots weren't for collecting. They were for sharing. And sharing made everything better.